What's up guys, Dave here from Iographer. I am so excited because my favorite camera app, Filmic Pro, which works on iOS and Android, has announced that they have enabled HDMI out from your device, from your iPhone, your iPad, your Android device. Now that signal is gonna go out of it via HDMI, hardwired into your computer, adapters, all kinds of things. That's gonna enable you to use this awesome camera app as your camera. So let's talk about it all today on Iographer TV. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is grab our device. I'm on the iPhone right now, but you could be on your iPad, you could be on your Android device. Um, and we're gonna look for this app right here. It's called Filmic Pro. And you can find it in the App Store. I'm gonna click it once. And here is Filmic Pro. Um, this is a super powerful app to use. That I highly recommend using. Um, it, it's just the best camera app out there. I've been using it for probably, I don't know, since its inception, eight or nine years, I don't know. But it's just been getting better and better every year. And with this uh, new HDMI capability, it's just a rock star. It's just even more so. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we're in Filmic Pro. First thing we need to do is to enable HDMI. So down here on the right, there is a little icon there. I'm gonna click it once, it's the settings icon. We are now in settings. Incidentally, if you want to become a pro at this app, I have a great training on my website, mobilevideoschool.com, where we've got lots of tutorials and um, there's a great training there on how to get you uh, from zero to hero in Filmic Pro right away. It's the best camera app out there. Okay, so once we're in here, we want to then go into hardware. So we're gonna click on hardware and there it is. And we want to enable clean HDMI out. So I'm going to click on that once and now it's enabled. So if you can see right here, it says 48 frames per second at 1080p. I was shooting something earlier where I wanted some slow motion and I'm not going to be needing that. So I'm going to go into the frame rate here and I'm just going to choose 30. And there we go. And we're going to go back and now we are good to go. I am set up on HDMI. Also, it says audio over HDMI, uh, but I'm just gonna use the computer's audio for this because I might wanna bring in a mixer later or something. Uh, the problem with audio over HDMI is that I can't connect a microphone uh, to this at the moment because there's no mic jack for one, and the lightning jack is gonna be busy with HDMI, and there is no HDMI and audio out uh, type of, of uh, adapter yet. So uh, for now, we're just going to use the computer's audio, but we can add all kinds of things to the computer to make it sound better. So that's great. But the biggest thing is to get this signal out. So we're going to close out of that and we are set to go and we're going to start to see what adapters we need coming up. So first of all, what do you need? You're going to need this adapter. It is a lightning to HDMI adapter. They make them for uh, USB-C and Lightning down here, and then HDMI, and then this is uh, will either be Lightning or it can be USB-C. I recommend buying Apple brands and uh, staying with it. So why is this good? Because I'm gonna plug in the HDMI cable here, and then I have this option to plug in my iPhone still to keep it charged if I'm doing a long uh, video. So this is gonna plug in really simply like that. And so we got the big part ready to go. And now we're gonna find an HDMI cable. And you can get these anywhere, Best Buy. I recommend monoprice.com. It's where I buy all my cables. Uh, but you know, they have to ship it to you, but the prices are just fantastic. Uh, whereas Best Buy or Apple or whatever, you can just go over there and pick one up. So now we've got this plugged in. So this is gonna plug in like this. And now we have the other end that's gonna go somewhere else. And we are, gonna, we are ready here to bring out the signal over HDMI into another device. So now on this side, the HDMI needs to have some way of bringing it into the laptop or other places. 
And you're gonna need something like a video capture. And this is a video capture HDMI device that we sell on our website. Here's the HDMI part. This goes into a USB, and that's how we're gonna bring that in. And what it does is it converts the signal in here and brings it into the device so it shows that this is a camera. So I'm gonna plug this in as well. And then lastly, we're gonna need, I'm gonna be on the MacBook Pro for this example. Here is another brand that we like called Insignia. This is actually a Best Buy uh, brand and uh, they make uh, USB-C to the MacBook Pro. Um, and then this is uh, a USB, it's, it's HDMI, and it's uh, also power here. So this is another USB-C. But we're gonna be plugging into this jack for this, uh, this, this showing. So let's dive into the MacBook Pro and see how this works. Okay, I got everything set up. We're using a suction cup mount up here to hold the phone above my computer so that it's gonna be a nice angle of view. Of course, you could put it on a tripod or put it anywhere you want separately. As long as you have a long enough cable, you are good to go. So now we're gonna jump into a couple of apps and I'm gonna first use, uh, I'm gonna enter this broadcast studio. This is StreamYard, which is a uh, great web-based app that we like. Um, and we're able to do, let's just put test in here. And we're able to do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, let's look at cam mic here. So first I wanna set up my camera and my mic. And here it's showing me USB video three and that is what's coming into the computer. So we'll hit that once and there I am. You can see me right there. It's feeding in nicely to the computer and it looks great. I'm gonna show advanced, high definition, 720. That is what we're able to get in to this app. So see, it's not vital to be doing 4K if you don't want to because lots of these apps won't even do 4K. So now I'm set to go, I can just press start and I can start doing a web show out to LinkedIn, out to YouTube, out to Facebook. Everything is ready to go camera wise. So now let's take a look at, um, let's empty out of here and we'll go to Zoom. So here you are, we're in Zoom. I'm gonna host a meeting with video on and it's gonna open up my Zoom prompt. And there we go. I see it loading and here we are. We're gonna join with computer audio. And there you go, it's already connected because I've done this a bunch of times already as testing. But you'll see here, I, I would usually, what you would have is you would have FaceTime camera and you can see the same lighting and everything. The FaceTime camera is really grainy and um, just like fuzzy over here and it's the lens is totally clean and everything. It just does not project a very good image in my opinion. Um, I prefer using something else. And webcams also, external webcams, they're not doing that well in my opinion either. But this is pretty damn awesome. So let's click on USB 3, there we go, because it's plugged in over there. And there's my image. I'm good to go directly into Zoom. Um, it's picking up the audio from here. And uh, we are good to go to start our Zoom. In the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add mixers and great external audio so that you can make even better web shows, uh, Facebook Lives, Zoom calls, whatever you want. Um, so we're gonna dive deeper into the rabbit hole and, uh, and get it all set up. But just so you know, very simple process. Only a few uh, adapters are needed uh, to really make this work and get your iPhone, iPad, or any other uh, Android device uh, to create great video with it um, going into this device. So there you have it. What do you think? It's gonna be amazing. Tell you what, in the comments, leave a comment of what you thought and how you're gonna use the app now. And I'm gonna give away a case lens case and a wide angle lens so that you can get awesome video with your iPhone. It's iPhone only, so just be aware of that but you can use it to bring in and have a wider shot now and just be awesome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and ring the bell so you're announced when we have another video. I'm Dave Basulto, I hope you're all healthy out there. I will see you soon.